What's going on YouTube family? It's your boy Aiden here. I am just setting up some Make America Equal for Once shirts as well as some trans men for women's right sweatshirts. Very, very excited to have these products out. They're out for a very limited time, so check out the description box below if you want to snag one up before they're all gone. So, before I actually get back to work, I wanted to stop and make a little video because I made a post today all about my shot and the fear I have with my testosterone shot. So, I'm gonna bring you into the bathroom here and uh, talk a little bit about my fears with my shots and everything like that. All right, so, our shot. Okay, so I just put up a post kind of talking about my shot and the big fear I have with needles and syringes and just doing my shot in general. Pretty much, I calculated up, it has been 348, I believe? Yes, so today, Thursday, January 20, what's today's date? 26th, I did my 348th shot of testosterone. Now that's an estimate, it's not exact, right? Because uh, that's just like assuming that there's four weeks in a month, you know, seven years, seven years, three months, times the amount of the months in the year, times the weeks estimated in a year. And so this is a big rough estimate. Um, I haven't actually been like one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Pretty rough and a pretty good estimate, I think, especially because I haven't really gone a week without my hormones. So I think that is a pretty good, like I said, a good estimate. So my 348th shot. I'm terrified of these things. This right here, that little needle right there is freaking terrifying to me. I hate them. Um, they scare me. I use a one inch needle and I do that because it's a lot smaller than a one and a half inch, which a lot of people do use. And I just find that the I'm less scared with the one inch. So I've had this fear forever, pretty much, from the from my first shot ever. They did my first shot, I didn't want to look at it. Um, when I had to do my own shot at home, I mean, I would get so much anxiety. I would start sweating, like literally beads of sweat. I would just like, my heart rate would go up, my hands would start shaking. So much to the point that actually what started happening was the night before my shot, I would start to freak out about my shot the next day. And that's when I knew like, I have a big problem with my shot. The anxiety from this little guy um, is just not good right now. And I knew that I had to work on it. I have been trying different things to kind of help me get more comfortable with my shot. One thing I did was was the smaller needle that helped a little bit. The the next thing I the next choice I made was you see this syringe goes up to this is a 1cc syringe. So I literally can see every single point, one, point two, point three, point four, like that. This helped me because now I was using a smaller syringe, I was able to see it better. I felt more in control of this one when I would inject, and you know, I felt more in control of this one. It wasn't as big and bulky. So that was another helpful thing. Another, and then you inject, so you kind of like squeeze the skin together, right, like this. You squeeze it together, and then you inject. That was easier, so I started doing that. So now I had all these different, like, Things that I would do, it was like a very specific process, like massage, um, then, you know, the smaller needle, the massaging after, I, uh, the pinching of the fat and the skin. I also learned that if you do your shot after a shower, apparently, now I, this is, I don't know if this is science or not, but apparently it softens your skin and just gets your skin like really soft so that, again, you can get in there a little bit easier. These are all the things that I've done and learned that have helped me. Now, I have also had times where when I pulled out, I squirted out blood and that was really scary to me. And my mom is a nurse and so I would always ask her like, oh, did I do it right? Like she's gotten pictures of like my butt because I'm scared. I'm like, oh, you know, did I get it in the right spot? Um, I need to know. And so, you know, she has pictures of uh, my hairy ass on her phone, uh, hopefully she's deleted those. You know, that's how scared I was, right? Because I just, I, I almost literally thought about like getting a tattoo on my butt, like of a circle or something, so I knew exactly where to go. So it's just always been a scary thing for me, and I really wanted to get over that. 
And by no means, um, by posting this video, by making the post I made on Instagram today, by no means am I like 100% healed and I could just, you know, sh you know, stab myself all the time and I don't have any issues with my shot anymore. That's not really the case, but rather what I did was I went ahead and I talked out loud before my shot today and I literally just, I was, you know, drawing it and, um, you know, you know, wiping it clean and everything with the alcohol swab and I just started talking to it and I was like, you know, I'm really sorry that I like hate you, Syringe. I'm really sorry that like I always talk so badly about you and you know, forgive me for literally being so scared to see you that the night earlier before I was supposed to go and meet you, I would be terrified and I would start you know, sweating and just like freaking out and my heart rate would start pound, you know, racing and you know, I just started kind of literally talking to myself and the syringe and the needle and just saying like you're not painful, like you're you're really smooth and I've taken three over 300 shots and only maybe you know, half a dozen, maybe a dozen of them have been scary, but you know, 12 out of 300 is really not that bad and I just felt really bad that I was hating the thing that made me feel so alive, which was the hormone replacement therapy that gave me a beard and, you know, gave me this jawline and, you know, helped me feel more comfortable in my own skin and, you know, lowered my voice. And so here I was hating the one thing that really made me, not made me who I am, but in a way, a part of who I am is because of this hormone. So I just... I wanted to forgive myself. I wanted to thank the testosterone and the needles and the syringes for being there for me, for, for, you know, never doubting if I was trans or not. Just, you know, just always being something that was supporting me in my transition and no matter what. And I just wanted to acknowledge that. And so I think I'm making this video because so many people I know are terrified of needles. I think everybody you talk to is like, doesn't like needles. You know, there's always that really traditional story of the guy, the big buff guy who's got all the tattoos all over him, but then like he goes to get his flu shot and he's like, no, right? And that's because needles are for some reason scary. Something about, you know, this, this needle getting shoved into your body is scary because it kind of is, right? And I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse. I, I'm just a dude who, is transgender and needs to take these hormones. And so when I do the shot, like if something gets messed up, I'm like, oh my God, am I gonna die, right? Um, I just have a lot of fear. I just wanna release that fear and, and I wanna welcome you guys to do the same thing. Again, it doesn't mean that I'm so perfect now and everything's beautiful and I'll never be scared again, but I'm going to start taking responsibility for my fear and not blaming the hormones anymore, but rather blaming my fear and acknowledging that I'm not even really being supportive of this testosterone. I'm actually talking down upon it. I'm, I'm conversing with my other trans friends and being like, don't you hate taking your shot? Oh my gosh, I hate it, right? And I, I wanna stop doing that. I wanna start feeling appreciative for my shot and not being so scared of it. I think, you know, there's a fear that comes with this syringe and I don't want to be in that scary place anymore. So, you know, with all the things that I've learned, with the things that I've done to help myself feel more prepared for my shot, now I've done a, a kind of, um, I love you, thank you, please forgive me, I'm sorry, ho'oponopono kind of release of energy and, and sending love and acknowledgement and respect again into this hormone, into this needle, into this syringe, into all of this, you know, this oil, everything that's involved in here and whatever it takes to get to this. So I just want to thank it. And I want to say that I will no longer be afraid of my syringe and I will no longer talk poorly about my shot day and I will no longer be afraid. And I don't know if those things are going to change overnight, but I could try, right? I could try to change my view on them and try to build a better relationship with it. And that's, that's what I want to do. That's, that's my, that's my goal with this. And that's why I made that post today. And, and I, I know that you guys, I know that there are tons of guys out there who are just as afraid of this needle as I am. Some are even so scared of it that they have to have their 
partner or friend or mother or whatever, you know, do the shot for them because they are so scared of doing the needle. So I just want to say that you're not alone, that I too am terrified of this damn thing, but I'm going to work on it and I want you to work on it too. I, I want to challenge you to work on it, to build a better relationship and uh, maybe, maybe the days won't be so scary. Yeah, maybe it'll still hurt a little bit. Maybe every now and then I'll hit a capillary and there'll be some blood, but Maybe I won't be so afraid. Maybe I'll be more welcoming and more thankful that I even have blood running through my body to be bleeding, right? Um, and, uh, you know, just, just to start be a little more, start being a little more appreciative of what I have instead of, you know, uh, working so hard to get hormones and then being like, oh, you know, I have to take a stupid shot every week and it hurts and blah, 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 right? So I just want to release that and I welcome you guys to do the same. And so... That's kind of the end of the video. I know I was like, I have a lot of energy and it's not so much that I have a lot of energy right now, it's just I have a lot of energy about this shot. You know, I've been on hormones for seven years and three months and I've taken a shot every week pretty much since then. So that's, you know, 348 times I've had to stab myself with this needle and I'm tired of being afraid of it. So I want to get to a, po a point in my life where I'm not afraid of it. So, all right guys. That's it. And perfect timing. Camera's dying. <laughs>